Okay, so welcome back to another glorious day in the core. And today we're doing one of the bug hunt missions. This is the supply depot. Uh, so a bit of a different layout with a long corridor filled with xenomorphs and crates that we're going to need to get for equipment. Also, uh, we're starting the APC tile up here with the spawn point right behind us, one ahead of us, one round here with two um, crates that does look very tempting but could be very risky. And since this is a bug hunt mission, all of our marines are only starting with a pistol. We've got to find the rest of the equipment in these crates, hopefully survive and burn through the entire motion tracker deck and kill every xenomorph and blip on the board and hopefully get the win that way. And in order to help us do this, we actually have some new faces along for the ride this time. Because we've got the character expansion, we've got a couple of extra faces that will be showing up with some better stats and... Uh, Sergeant Pan here is going to be quite useful actually, uh, because when we equip the stuff we find uh, from our hands then it's going to be uh, one cost less in order to do so, which will be quite handy on this mission, because there's going to be a lot of stuff that needs equipping. Okay, so rules about the mission then. Uh, the crate tokens. If you take an interact action with a crate, you can equip for free a weapon or equipment card from the hand or the endurance deck, so you can just rummage around and pull something out that you really quite like the look of. Uh, for the motion tracker, it starts with five random threat level ones and five threat level twos at the start. And we start drawing motion tracker cards from turn one, but at the start of turn three onwards, we double the amount we do. So we'll end up drawing four motion tracker cards from turn three onwards, as opposed to the initial starting of two. Also, some extra things we'll be keeping an eye on over here. Uh, as part of the character expansion, we actually have some experience uh, which is like some um, extra abilities we can earn the longer we survive. So for every five turns we stay alive for, we get to earn one of these um, experience cards that will give us a, a, a helping hand, a little edge to keep us going. So help us spec out and hopefully get uh, better and stronger as the mission goes on and make it more likely that we'll succeed. So with that in mind then, let's crack into this Supply Depot mission in another glorious day of the call. Okay then, so first things first, we're all starting off in the APC, but there are three spawn points quite near to us, and the two crates are on the other side of it anyway. I think there is no reason for us to be sticking around this APC, we really kind of want to be getting down here. So I'm hoping that if we were to stand where Sentry Gun B is, then we'd have like a long fire lane and it would be a good place to hold up. Plus we've got the extra crates to try and grab, so I think that's what we're going to try and do, head down to there first. So, first off though, Ripley activates, uh, recycle two endurance cards and none to recycle, but we do get to draw one. Uh, draw four endurance and then exhaust two cards from your hand. Yeah, we'll keep that for now, because uh, that might be useful for getting his equipment later. Uh, but for now then, we'll get Ripley to move twice with her move value of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, then we'll get Vasquez to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, Hicks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, Opponent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, Hudson. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then, uh, how do you pronounce that? Wisebowski. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the Marines done for turn one then. Uh, no active Xenomorphs on their board, but there are plenty of blips. So, uh, blips on this tile then, how far do they go? One. Uh, one, 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 one. And there is a door there, so Sentry Gun A can't actually see them until they come out of there. Uh, blips on this one. Six. One, Sentry Gun B sees it and fires. Two dice, seven or less on either. Uh, four destroys it. Next one moves. Takes another shot. Seven or less on either. That's a six. Destroys. Moves. Reduce the ammo. Seven or less. Yep, kills it with a star. Next one. Four. Kills that too. Chewing through these blips. Another round of ammo for this one. Seven or less. Uh, three. Kills it. Hopefully last one. Seven or less. That's a five. Yep. So, Sentry Gun B has decimated all six of those blips, but there are only three rounds left in it. And we're still yet to draw motion cards. 
Yep, so we do draw motion cards on turn one, and so far we draw two of them. So first one, uh, blip on four. If it's not in line of sight, it immediately moves four spaces. Uh, it spawns there, no one can see it, so it does move. It moves, sentry gun B sees it, takes a shot, and immediately destroys it. Next one. Ooh, blip on one. Discard a barricade, or put a second blip at one. Uh, no barricades to discard, so let's put two blips up on spawn point one. And that's going to be a problem for us, because that's uh, right in the way of where we need to go. But that's something we'll worry about in a second or two, as we go into turn two. So, Star Marine activation. Ripley gets to recycle two cards. None to currently recycle, but we do get to draw another one. Ooh, a motion tracker. That could be quite useful, and it costs nothing to equip, so we'll equip that directly onto Ripley. So then we'll get uh, Ripley to move again. So there is a door there, so we won't be able to see them until they come round. And I don't want to go charging in there, because they could just spawn more by the time we're done. So we'll just get Ripley to move twice again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Get Vasquez to move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hex. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Opponent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hudson. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wise Basket. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if those blips come around the corner, uh, we've got three pairs of eyes that could potentially see them. So. Hopefully they don't do too much damage, but we'll find out because we're going to the aiming phase. No active xenomorphs on the board, but blips. Let's uh, see how far these ones go. Two. One, two. The door has opened now that that blip has gone into there, so essentially going A can see it. Takes a shot. Two dice, seven or less on either. Uh, that's a star, kills it. Next one, one, two. Same deal. Takes another shot, seven or less. Uh, yep, kills that as well. And the rest, one, two, are not next to that door, so that door's shut, so the sentry gun doesn't see the rest of them. Uh, these two blips then, how far do they go? Four. One, two, three, four. Has a go, Vasquez. One, two, three, four. Doesn't, but can be seen, so it's flipping both. Oh, just one xenomorph each. That's lucky. Okay, and the lead one uh, managed to get within range of Vasquez, so it would make an attack, but we do get to fire defensively. So, let's get Ripley to shoot first. Her aim value is currently 7 with the pistol, so hitting on a 7 or less. Yep, that's a kill. And that Xenomorph immediately goes away, and there's just one left. Okay, motion tracker cards then. Uh, drawing two. First one. Oh, tunnel token. Right, uh, so reveal a card first. It's green, so there's one blip on the tunnel token, and it'll pop next to Ripley there, and we'll get a blip on it, and flip it. It's four xenomorphs. So four xenomorphs have emerged from the tunnel right next to Ripley, and we've still got another motion tracker card. Blip on one. If it's not in line of sight, it moves four spaces. Uh, blip appears on one, it is not in line of sight, so it moves one, two, three, and moves into attack. It's three xenomorphs. So immediately after we kill the first one, three more have come around to have another go at Vasquez. Uh, they did move to get there though, so we can fire defensively again. Uh, so we'll get Ripley to fire off with her pistol first into that one. She already shot one, so hits on a six or less. Star, that kills, uh, so we'll uh, get a card gone to roll again, hitting on a five or less. Yes, that's two killed, and you can only do a max of two shots with the pistol, it's not fully automatic. Um, before we remove the models, let's uh, see if we can get Hicks to have a go, because um, then we can maybe remove the stack. He hits on a six with his first shot. That's a kill. And all three Xenomorphs go away. Okay, so some good defensive fire there, but uh, these Xenomorphs from the tunnel are going to be troubling, and there's still one over there that could cause us problems as we move into turn. Three. Okay then, so Ripley activates and she immediately recycles a car, two cards back in and we get to draw one. Pulse Rifle, excellent. So let's uh, equip the Pulse Rifle 
So uh, for a pound's ability to reduce the cost, you'd need to be within four spaces. Ripley is well off in the lead at that point, so we have to exhaust three cards to equip her with that pulse rifle. So for our first activation then, uh, let's start shooting into the Xenomorphs that are immediately next to her. So spend a card to do so. Hitting the first one, armor seven or less. That's a five, kills one. Spend again, six or less. Yes. Spend again, five or less. Ooh, good work with the pulse rifle. Can we get one more, four or less? No, but she did manage to kill three Xenomorphs. Let's try and polish it off anyway. It's only a card to do so and hits on a three or less. Nope, misses. So that Xenomorph is still there. Let's get some of the other Marines in to give Ripley a hand. We'll get Hicks to activate and move one, two, three, four. And he'll take a shot at that Xenomorph with his pistol. So it hits on a six or less. Misses. Uh, spend the card to have another go. Hitting on a five or less. Yes, kills it. So Hicks manages to kill that Xenomorph with his pistol. Okay, uh, what about this one up here? Uh, let's get Vasquez to try and polish it off before we do anything else. So she will fire, hitting on a six or less with a pistol. Misses. Uh, spend a card for its second shot. Five or less. Yeah, that's a hit and a kill. All the Xenomorphs are now gone. Okay, uh, so that was Vasquez's first action to attack with a pistol, so we'll get to move again. One, two, three, four. We get Sergeant Pine to move. One, two, three. Can't stop there, but for his second action, he'll go again. One, two, three, four. Uh, Hudson, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What's Baskin? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So our band of marines is getting closer to some of the crates. Uh, we do kind of need sentry gun A to run dry before we get there though, otherwise it will start shooting at us if we try and move past it. So uh, let's move into the alien phase then. And no active xenomorphs because we've killed them all, but there are still active blips. How far do they move? Three spaces. First one goes one, two. Sentry gun A sees it. Takes a shot. Sevens or less. That's a five, kills. Next one, one, two, three. Sentry gun sees it again, takes a shot. Sevens or less. Yep, kills that two. Uh, next one, one, two. Sentry gun fires. Sevens or less. Uh, that is a five, that dies. And next one, one, two, three. Sevens or less. Yep. Wipes it out. Okay, so all the blips have been wiped off the board. Uh, Sentry Gun A still has three shots of ammo left in it though. So we don't want to go in front of its line of sight until it's ran dry, otherwise it's going to start shooting at us. So kind of hoping for things to spawn on spawn point three so that uh, it can use up that ammo and we can pass. But let's see what we get. Uh, it is now turn three. We are drawing four motion tracker cards each turn now. So first one. Okay, uh, reveal a card. It's yellow, so we don't place additionals. There is just one blip on one. So one blip on spawn point one. Second card, blip on four. Uh, if it already has a blip or alien model, move it four spaces. There is currently nothing on spawn point four, so it just spawns in. Next one. Another blip on one. If it's not in line of sight, it moves four spaces. One, two, three, four. Uh, we can see that it's two xenomorphs. And the last one, blip on three. Uh, if it's not in line of sight, it moves four spaces. So it appears on three, it isn't in line of sight, it moves one. Sentry gun A can see that, takes a shot, seven or less, and kills it. Okay, so still two rounds worth of ammo in Sentry Gun A, but uh, we can at least get in position and hope it runs dry soonish. But uh, then we're moving into turn four. So, start of the marine activation. Ripley activates and immediately recycles two cards. And then we draw one. Oh dear. Place on the character. Each time the character activates, reveal a card. Uh, green, you lose an action. Yellow, exhaust four cards. Blue, discard two cards. And, uh, 
Okay, so we are kind of looking for a blue. But, uh, hmm. but that goes on Ripley for now, and that is going to cause us a lot of problems. Okay, so we'll get Ripley to activate, and she moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I was to step beyond that, I would be in the Sentry Gun's line of sight, but since I'm directly next to it, we don't. Uh, and then I'll get her to rest for a second action, and recycle uh, three cards back in, and draw two. And we'll draw two cards. Oh, come on! Okay, so we really, really need to get these off Ripley. As, uh, that is not going to be good for us in the long term. So at the end of the character's activation, so including this turn, exhaust two cards. In addition, discard two if they're in line of sight of an alien model. Thankfully no alien models that Ripley can see, but we still need to exhaust two cards. Uh, the rest of the Marines then. We'll get the Sergeant to move up one, two, three. And we'll get him to rest as well. Get three cards back in. Uh, we've got two Xenomorphs behind Vasquez. So let's let her have a go with a pistol at them. And then uh, try and move her down the conga line. Let someone else have a go if they're still alive. So first one is hit on six or less. Okay, so we did roll a three. And so that is the first one killed. Spend a card. Roll again on a five or less. Yes, so kills both of them with Vasquez's pistol. And for a second action, we'll get to move four. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll get Hicks to move along. One, two, three, four. And we'll get him to rest. Recycle three cards back in. And then we'll get Wise Basket to move. One, two, three, four. And he will rest as well to get the rest of the cards back in. Uh, Hudson as well. He's not done anything. Uh, he can move one, two, three, four. And rest as well, but there are no cards to recycle back in. Right then, so end of the marine turn, so let's go off to the aliens. Uh, there are some active blips on the board. There's one here. How far does it move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And this one down here moves two. One, sentry gun B sees it, takes a shot. Hits on sevens or less. Uh, kills it with a two. And it has one shot of ammo remaining. Uh, on to motion tracker cards then, and we draw four of them. First one, blip on three. Uh, if there already is one, it moves. Uh, there isn't one, it just spots on three. It is in line of sight of Ripley, however. It's a single xenomorph on its own. Second card, two blips on four. Uh, after you place blips, move each blip in play three spaces. So, one, two, on four. And then they move three spaces. One, B sees it and takes its last shot. Sevens or less. Uh, yep, kills it. That blip goes. Sentry gun B is now out of ammo though, and so we'll remove the model from the board just so we don't confuse it. And then this blip moves three spaces. One, two, three. This is also an active blip. It moves one, two, three. And because that one was revealed as a xenomorph, I don't think it counts as a blip, so it stays where it is for now. Uh, next card, false alarm, recycle a card, no cards to recycle, another tunnel, uh, place a tunnel token in a square that's within the line of sight next to the character, okay, uh, reveal a card first, it's green, so one blip on the tunnel token, we shall place it there, right in front of sentry gun A, it is in line of sight, it's two xenomorphs, okay, so alien tunnel is done, so back to the marines then for turn five. And because it is turn five, we get access to one of these ability cards. So let's have a rummage through and see if there's one I like the look of. Okay, so gone through the cards and we've picked this one. So Ripley can, uh, as a passive with this one, re-roll a character within four spaces defense roll. But now she can do it for herself as well. So hopefully that's going to keep us alive a little bit longer. So first off, uh, Ripley activates, recycle two cards. No cards to recycle, but we draw one. It's an event. Hmm. Not what we need right now. So, um, for Ripley's first action, I'm going to actually play this one. Draw four endurance cards, then exhaust two cards from your hand. So we shall draw four. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Oh dear. Another hazard. <laughs> this is not going well. 
Reveal cards until you get a blue one or you revealed five. Well, fingers crossed for blue. No. No. Um, uh, if you discard hazards in this way, shuffle this card back into the exhaust pile. So we don't play that one, but it does get shuffled back in. There's the blue. So, oh no, hang on. If you discard one or more hazard cards in this way, shuffle this card back in, otherwise discard it. Okay, so it's not this one that gets shuffled back in, this one does. So that does get discarded and this gets shuffled back in. So let's get Ripley to step back. One, two, three for her second action. Uh, she can, oh no, She can she see those animals from there? I think she can because the, the black line's over here so you can actually draw a line of sight still. So uh, yes, so she has ended her activation in line of sight. So we exhaust two cards because of her hazard card and discard two as well. Okay, let's get Sergeant Opponent to fire into those two Xenomorphs with his pistol then. Uh, so the first one hits on a six or less. That's a star. Uh, spend a card, shoot again with the pistol. Five or less. Yes, kills them both. Oh, hang on actually. Probably can see those Xenomorphs from there because the black line stops there and there, and you could draw a line to there, so yeah, we can actually see these. That's two Xenomorphs. Okay, well, we'll get um, opponent to rest for his next action, just to recycle three cards back in. Okay, uh, Vasquez can see those Xenomorphs from there, so we'll get her to fire off her pistol into those. Uh, first one hits on a six or less. Misses, but we'll spend the card. Shoot again, hitting on a five or less. Misses as well. Um, we'll get to stay where she is though, uh, because Hicks can see past her. Uh, actually no, we'll get to fire again with the pistol for a second action. So, first one shoots on a four or less. Nope. Spend another card. Three or less. Ah, no. So Vasquez hasn't hit anything with both her actions. Then we'll get Hicks to have a go with his pistol, because he can see past Vasquez because of where the black line is. So, he hits on a six or less. Uh, yep, hits once, spend another card, five or less. Nope, just one hit. And for his second action, we'll have another go, this time hitting on a four or less. Nope, another card, three or less. No. So he just kills one. So from that angle, I don't think anyone else can see that Xenomorph, so we'll get Hudson to move up. One, two, three. And... From there, you can draw a line of sight to that square, so you'll see from there, he'll fire off his pistol. Uh, hits on a six or less. Nope. Spend another card. Five or less. No. And he moved to get there, so that's both his actions done. It's just a one Xenomorph. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So he's not blocking everyone else's line of fire. And for his second action, he'll shoot with his pistol. Hits on a five or less. Yes, kills the Xenomorph. Okay then, so that's all of the Marines done. So into the alien phase. And there is an active blip on the board. Uh, how far does that go? Four spaces, one, two, three, four. And there is an active Xenomorph on the board. It moves six, steps once, sends you grenade, sees it, takes a shot, hits on sevens or less. Yep, kills it, that one goes away. Yep, nothing else active on the board, so going into motion tracker cards. And there's four of them. First one, blip on one. Uh, nothing's already there, so it doesn't move. Next one, two blips on four. Uh, either exhaust four cards or place another blip at spawn two. Uh, spawn two's way back by the APC, so we'll put the two on four. And then, yes, you can have another blip on two. Next one. Recycle a card. Yes, please. And the last one. Reveal a card. It's blue. Place another blip at spawn point three. So one blip at two, which is there, and then one at three. Okay then, so from there, uh, opponent probably can draw a line of sight to that blip, so we'll reveal it. It's five xenomorphs. Okay, so five Xenomorphs have come crawling out. Sentry Grenade only has one lot of rounds left in it, but hopefully when they move it, they'll be able to take it out. So then, um, moving to the next turn. So since we get the uh, extra cards on um, turn five, I think after turn five, we'll just roll around to turn one again. Easier to keep track of that way. 
Okay, we need to go. Uh, Ripley activates. First off, she recycles two cards, and then she draws one. Smart gun. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Where's Vasquez? She is in range. Good. And the pwn's in range as well, so when we equip that to Vasquez, it'll only cost us two cards to do so. Let's also equip that body armor to Ripley. Cost of one, but opponents nearby, so reduces by one to nothing. Okay then, so for Ripley's moves then. Um, let's keep her there for now, because we don't want to end up in line of sight of a Xenomorph when we finish, because then I'll have to keep discarding cards. So we shall just get her to rest twice, and we cycle these in, and let's draw four cards because we're resting twice. Ooh, shotgun, bypass, an event, two events. Okay. Well, could definitely hand out the uh, shotgun and the bypass next one. If the sentry turret hits it, it will obliterate all the stack. But if it misses somehow, I want to thin out that five before it gets to us. So we'll get a pwn to shoot into those xenomorphs first off. So he hits the first one on a six or less with the pistol. Yep. Spends a card to shoot again, hits on a five or less. Yes, uh, for a second action we'll do the exact same thing, hits on a 4 or less. Yes, spend another card, 3 or less. Oh, legend, he's managed to kill 4 Xenomorphs with just his pistol. Very tidy. Uh, from there, we'll get Wise Basket to come back, 1, 2, 3, 4, and he will rest to get those two cards back in. There are a lot of tunnel tokens nearby, aren't there? And we still need to wait until Sentry Grenade is fired off before we can get moving deeper in. So, uh, there's no point in resting, so we'll get everybody else, which is Hicks, Vasquez and Hudson, to aim twice. Okay, and that's the Marines done. So, Xenomorphs. Uh, there is one active on the board. It takes a step, and Sentry Grenade starts shooting its last shot. Seven or less on either. And kills it. That Xenomorph goes away, and Sentry Gun A is also out of ammo, so let's take it off the board. Okay, so that's cleared the route for us to head deeper in, so let's try and find some crates and get ourselves equipped next time. But there are still some blips. Blips on this board, how far do they move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, blips on this board. They move one. One. One, flips on this board, moves five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Also, I forgot to discard two cards from Ripley when she uh, reached the end of her activation due to the hazard card. Oh, hang on, hang on, I've been forgetting the first one. So I think that's um, two, is it two or three when we got that? So. Let's reveal three cards now, because uh, I've been forgetting to do that and it will affect the next turn. So, yellow, green, blue. Okay, so uh, we'll say then for next turn, Ripley will only have one action, exhaust four, discard two, and then this goes back into the exhaust pile. Okay, so we've discarded the cards we need to as well as exhausted the ones we need to so the first hazard has gone back into the exhaust pile and we still have that one on Ripley that we need to deal with okay um, motion tracker yep uh, so we've done the blips so off to motion tracker four cards we need to reveal single blip on three uh, discard a barricade or put a second blip at one no barricades in place so we put a second blip at one next one Single blip at two. If there already is one, it moves. Uh, there is currently none on spawn two, so it just goes there. Next one. Another blip on two. Discard a barricade or put another blip at one. Uh, no barricades, so blip at two. Blip at one. Last one. Oh boy. So two blips at two, first of all. Uh, one, two. They're all coming from the APC by the look of it. If there is one or more hazard in the discard pile, randomly select one hazard to shuffle back into the exhaust. I'm pretty sure we did discard a hazard that way. Yes, we discarded that hazard, so this goes back into the exhaust pile from the discard, so we may see it again. 
Okay, so the way in front of us is looking a bit clearer, but there's a huge pile of xenomorphs coming in from our insertion point, so we need to start moving. Uh, also, blip on three, we can see from there, it's two xenomorphs. Okay, so do we go for those crates or do we dive straight in? That is the question. But first of all, we go into the marine phase and we pre-activate. So at start of activation, we recycle two cards and then we draw one. Another event. Stand up and knock down character, very good. So whilst we're here, uh, let's hand out some weapons, shall we? Okay, so for a cost of one, because the opponent's still nearby, we shall give the shotgun to Hicks. And for a cost of nothing, we will give the bypass to Hudson. Uh, as much as I like the co yeah, do you know what? We'll uh, give Ripley the combat knife. So we'll get rid of her pistol and uh, give her the combat knife. Uh, cost nothing to do so because opponents nearby, but that increases her defense rolls and makes it harder for her to get knocked down, which is very nice. And start of Ripley's activations then. So I want her in a position where she's not going to see a xenomorph, which is going to be very difficult to achieve, all told. I could try and get her in after this crate here. The question is, will this blip follow me in? And will the rest of the Marines be able to do anything about it if it does? It's probably best to keep Ripley there for now still. We'll get her to rest twice, so we recycle um, six cards back in, and we'll use that opportunity to draw four. Okay, so four cards we drew for Ripley. There's another hazard. The start of the character activation, reveal a card. Uh, great, 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 great. Right, I forgot I was going to give Ripley only one action this turn uh, because of the previous hazard she did. So because of that, we will actually exhaust three of the cards that we should have brought back because she should have only done one rest action and we'll discard these back in because we shouldn't have drawn them. Uh, I'll keep the hazard because uh, I think that's the cost of my mistake, but uh, we'll put the stuff that was useful back in. So let's get one, two, three, four. Hmm. So a opponent could get to those crates and potentially dig something out. So let's move them up to do so. One, two, three, four. And do we dig it out now or do we shoot those xenomorphs? Let's dig it out now um, because we can get the uh, xenomorphs back later. So he'll go digging around in this crate and get himself some goodies. Okay, so I've gone and pulled out a smart gun for a opponent. So, uh, yes, expensive to uh, actually fire, but he's got a good aim value, so hopefully he'll make some decent work out of that. Um, that's both of his actions. I've just realised as well I need to discard two, uh, no, exhaust two cards for when Ripley ended her uh, activation. Uh, rest of the Marines then. So, let's get, why is Basket to move up? One, two, three, four, to there, and we'll get him to shoot at those two Xenomorphs with his pistol. So, first one hits on a 5 or less, misses, spend the card, hits on a 4 or less, misses again. Okay, then we'll get Hicks to move up and do the same thing, 1, 2, 3, and he'll take a shot at those Xenomorphs with his pistol. Actually, he doesn't have the pistol, he has the shotgun, doesn't he? So, exhaust a card to make the shot, hits on a 6 or less, yep, kills 1. Okay, then we'll get Vasquez to move up. One, two, three, four, and shoot at that Xenomorph. Uh, hitting on a six or less. Star, kills it. So the one on three has gone. And then we'll get Hudson to move up. One, two, three, four, and he will rest to get three cards back in. Okay then, so we've pulled ourselves a smart gun and we've cleared some of the xenomorphs and we're hopefully moving into this block for the next one. But in the meantime, no xenomorphs on the board but there are a lot of active blips. Uh, so this blip here, how far does it move? Four. One, two, three, four. Just on the other side of that door but it doesn't open yet so they can't see it. These two move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these three blips, they move two. One, two, can't be seen. One, two, one, two. All these blips down here, they move one. Okay, so slowly getting closed in on by the blips. Uh, motion tracker cards reveal four of them. First one, two blips on three. One, two. 
Uh, either exhaust four cards or put another blip at one. Uh, you can have that other blip at one, I think. But these are in line of sight, and they are three and one xenomorph. Next card. Blip at four. Exhaust, one card for each character within line of sight. Uh, nobody's in line of sight, so we don't do that. Third one. Two blips at two. If it's placed on spawn point in line of sight, discard four cards. Uh, two is not in line of sight. They just pop in there. Last one. False alarm, recycle a card. Okay, so a couple of Xenomorphs coming out of three. A hell of a lot coming back from two to try and uh, chase us down, but fairly clear for us to move into this one. As we move into then, uh, turn seven. So at the start, uh, Ripley activates. Uh, it's uh, the start of the character's activation, reveal a card. It's yellow, character takes one less action during their activation. So Ripley only has one action she can do this turn. One, two, three, four, five. That Xenomorph is going to be coming around next time, potentially. So we kind of don't want her to stay there. But if she stays where she is, he's not discarding cards when she finishes. So we'll get her to rest with her one action and get three cards back in. Let's send in Wisebowski. Let's have a look at this. One, two. So we're in there. We're next to that Xenomorph. We have to stop moving. It's two Xenomorphs. We can also now see these two blips, three and one Xenomorph. Okay, uh, for a second action then, let's open up with the pistol into those two Xenomorphs there. He hits the first one on a five or less. Nope, but if we spend a card, shoots on a four or less. Nope, misses with both. Great. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get a pwn to deal with these first before moving any other Marines in. So uh, we'll fire his uh, smart gun off, spending three cards to do so. Into these pile of uh, first xenomorphs. So you get both dice, hitting on sixes or less for the first one. Uh, kills one. Spend another card, fives or less. Kills another. Spend another, fours or less. Yep. Last one, threes or less. Yes! So, he has wiped all the Xenomorphs from spawn point three. So, that door is currently open now, so um, Hudson and Vasquez can see those Xenomorphs from there already. So, let's get Hudson to fire off his pistol first. He hits the first shot on a six or less. Yep, uh, spends a card to fire again, five or less. No. Uh, we'll do his second action to do the same thing, hits on a four or less. Nope, spend the card, three or less. Yes, and so he's killed both of those, which has freed up Wisebowski. Okay, uh, and we've got the rest of these guys here, so let's move some other Marines in, so for a potential uh, cover fire later. So we'll get Vasquez to move, one, two, three, to there. We'll get Hicks to move, one, two, three, four, to there. And we'll get a pwn to move, one, two, three, four. Four. So Hicks and Vasquez moved once to get there, and they've not shot yet. So we'll get them to fire into these Xenomorphs. We'll get Hicks to fire his shotgun into that one there. Spends a card to do so, hits on a six or less. That's a star, kills one. Then we'll get Vasquez to fire her smart gun into these. So spends two cards to do it, and she is hitting on sixes or less. That's a six with one, kills one. Spend another card, fives or less. Yep, kills another. Spends another card, fours or less. Star wipes all three out. Okay, that's the Marines done. Looking quite good. We've finally made it into the supply depot and it looks like we kind of had the run of the place. So hopefully we'll be able to get people equipped for when this bomb from two finally hits. Okay, also, Ripley, uh, when she act, uh, ended her turn needs to exhaust two cards because of the hazard. Okay, into the egging phase then. No active Xenomorphs on the board, but there are some blips. This one, move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't be seen from there yet. These blips, move three. One, two, three, that one can be seen. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so we'll just put a single Xenomorph there. Uh, blips over here. Move six. 
Okay, that's all the blips moved. So let's go into motion trackers, revealing four. Recycle a card. Two blips on one and exhaust six cards. One, two, exhaust six. And next one, recycle another card. Next one, two blips on four. Either exhaust four cards or place one more blip at spawn two. You can add the blip at two. Okay, so two more spawned in on four and another blip at spawn two. Okay then, so blips are starting to catch up with us as we move into turn eight.